Hey guys, I'm finally back with a video, and this is episode 5 of my Road to 120 Slayer series. Now, I gotta explain myself, I haven't made a video since April 17th, but now I am actually in summer, I'm done with my first year of university, and what happened was I had like three weeks of solid prep for my finals and final projects. I had a lot of stuff I had to take care of. And then just a week before this, I was uh, streaming a lot more than like actually uh, focusing on videos. So now I'm like actually back into the groove of making videos and streaming. This summer we'll have a lot more content from me. And another thing, uh, because it's been so long since I've actually made a video and it's been so long since uh, my Road to 120 Slayer series has continued... I've made this episode a lot longer than my previous episodes, so there will be a lot of shit to talk about, and this intro is long enough, so let's go right into it, guys. So at the start of this episode, I was at 52 million Slayer, so pretty much halfway to the 120 mark, and one of my first tasks was Abyssal Demons, and I actually got an Abyssal Orb very early on. Uh, back then it was 250k, I'm pretty sure it's not the same anymore, but it was nice to get that, and it is on my drops page, so I can add a number to that. And the very next task was Celestials, which you guys gotta know, I am way too fucking lucky at those guys, and you'll see later in this episode why. And I know I say I'm lucky at everything, but hear me out, hear me out, it, it was really good. Within the first couple kills I got a Visage, so that was nice. I don't know what number Visage that is, because I've gotten so many, but all I know is it's it's a nice drop. Later, I headed over to uh, Ascension Creatures, and I know those tasks really aren't that good, but I, I don't know, I do them every now and then just for the keys, and I actually ended up snagging a pair of Ascension Grips, and at the time they were 4.5 mil, I'm really not sure what they are now, but that's really a nice drop. Uh, out of the three uh, glove drops, like the Razorback Gauntlets, uh, Hand Wraps, and Ascension Grips, I'm pretty sure the Ascension Grips uh, have, or had at least, the highest price. Following that Ascension task, I got Celestials once again, and I got a Dragon Rider kit, and I think that is a new item that I haven't gotten uh, in this series before, and it's like 1.2 mil uh, GE, I'm not really sure the street. And later in that task, I actually got another Visage as well, which is, oh man, that's so beautiful. Skipping like a million Slayer experience, I, uh, I ended up at Celestials again, and I got a Dragon Rider Helm in that task, and that was about 200k, not really anything fantastic, but it's always cool to get one of the Dragon Rider pieces, just for the novelty aspect. And this task was actually a start of back-to-back -back tasks of Celestials, so the very next task I got um, them again, and I got a Visage very early on, the trend of me getting something very early on in these tasks continues. So I'm already at three Draconic Visages in this episode so far, and we're not even done, guys. Continuing on, I got my fourth Celestial task. Um, I don't know where I was at this point, but I was on my fourth one, uh, regardless. And I got another Visage, like, what the fuck? Come on, calm down, Celestials, I have too many already. Moving over to the Edemu change of scenery. When you kill these guys, you have a chance of spawning a big Edemu, and uh, that Big Edemu takes a lot longer to kill, you get uh, slightly better experience, and you have better drops, essentially. Um, so if you get a beam on it, you, you can be fairly certain you might get a blood shard, because uh, the blood shards are more common on the big ones. But I got a beam, and it just ended up being like a 100 Torstall uh, rare drop table, but that's still pretty good. Um, at first, I kind of freaked out because I thought it was a blood shard, but... Oh well. I don't know, the rare drop table really loved me that day, because I got another beam later on, and it was 300 mahogany planks, which is about 600k. And if you've ever killed this monster, you know that the tasks are extremely long. Uh, so, towards the end, uh, you know, I'm already like an hour in. I was kind of exhausted of doing these guys, but within the last four kills, I got my third beam of the task. Third time's the charm, I got another fucking blood shard. Holy shit, guys. Uh, if you remember in the earlier parts of this series, like episode 3, I believe, I got ridiculous amounts of blood shards, and this is number 9, and uh, we're only on episode 5. And continuing that trend of me getting ridiculously lucky on tasks, I got Celestials again. I'm at this task all the time, apparently, and I ended up getting back-to-back -back visages. Like, what the fuck? Back-to-back? -back? <laughs> I, I still, I, I just don't understand. Uh, why I'm getting so much shit uh, in this episode. And then much later, uh, it had to have been like at least a million Slayer. I had another Celestial task. I know this is probably boring for you guys. You've seen these guys a million times. 
but I got a Celestial Hand Wraps uh, to kick off that task. And that is number three for the series so far. And just because I've shown so many fucking Celestials in this episode, I just wanted to mix it up a bit. I got a Abbey Whip at Abyssal's. Probably one of the best drops I've ever gotten. And then back to the Edimu. I ended up getting the 10th Blood Shard of the series, which is a nice milestone. Um, if you guys are unaware, the Blood Shards are 7 mil, about 7 mil uh, currently. So that essentially means at this point, my tab has 70 mil in one item. I know, that's as crazy as it sounds. Not to mention, I also got two Triskelion key pieces in this task, which if you've ever slayed before, Triskelions are pretty rare from Slayer. So getting even more than one Trisk in one task is kind of weird. And holy shit, we're not at Celestials. We're at Rune Dragons this time. And to put some context, I have not gotten any of the boot uh, drop things from the Rune Dragons yet. And I'm at like a thousand kills. So I'm quite dry on that. But I did pick up a Visage, which, you know, I can't complain. Visage is a Visage. Uh, And at least this time it wasn't from a Celestial. And if you thought we were done with Celestials, well, you're dead wrong. Because I had more of them. And I picked up another Celestial Hand Wraps, which is now number four of the series. And I'm pretty sure they're still over two mil uh, per. I'd have to check that again, but assuming they're two mil per, that's eight mil in just Hand Wraps. Oh my god. So that concludes this episode of Slayer in terms of what happened. Like, that was interesting. Um, I know it was just basically all Celestials, but oh man, you you can't even deny how fucking lucky I am. Like... I think it was at least six visages in this episode. I'd have to maybe go back and count, but I had two Celestial Hand Wraps. I got a visage from Rune Dragons, so many from Celestials, two Blood Shards, like, oh man. And just so you know, I ended at 59 million Slayer, which means I got 7 million Slayer uh, in this episode. So very good progress and amazing loot. So my tab must be ridiculous. I also hit 200 Slayer tasks in this episode on my last task. Um, which means I will be making a loot from 200 Slayer Tasks video fairly soon. But either way, let's go into my slides and see what has changed. First, we're going to look at the drops page. And uh, the major changes that have uh, that have occurred are definitely the visage count and the celestial hand wraps. We're now at 9 draconic visages and 4 hand wraps, which I, I just I can't even fathom. That It looks so beautiful in my tab as well. Um, in addition, we are now at double digits for Blood Shards, and we're not even we're not even close to 120 Slayer, really. Uh, so I, you can expect that number to go way up uh, in the future. Um, in addition, we have passed 10,000 Crimson Charms, so that's another cool thing, I guess. And now the only item I'm missing from this page is the Abyssal Wand, which uh, now that I'm doing Abyssal Demons tasks a lot more often, I can hope I can I hope I can nail that drop and from that we'll have a completed drop page and then finally here are the stats of the series um like I said before we're at 200 tasks completed uh my xp per hour has jumped quite a bit uh, because I've been doing a lot of uh better tasks I guess my counter initially was very bad because of the rune dragon tasks I did um because before the update of boosting rune dragon's experience it was only like 60k per hour it was really trash so it really fucked up my my stats but now it's catching back up and we're nearly at 200k maybe in the next one we can break that mark and uh we're at 21.5 mil slayer in 111 hours and you can see the experience i've gotten so far it's it's quite crazy and you can see that i tend to use range on most tasks i don't know i just really love the noxious longbow Um, If I can range it, I will range it. And not to mention, you've seen how much Celestials I do. That's where most of it's coming from, really. So yeah, that's basically everything that happened in this episode of 7 Million Slayer. Um, Hopefully it wasn't super tedious to go through everything. And I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. It's been a very long time since we've done one of these. And not to mention, it's been a long time since I made a video. So hope you guys enjoyed uh, watching me again. And uh, don't worry, we will have a lot more content to come. Uh, this summer. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good day.